Hey guys, and welcome back to DAB Works Gaming. If you guys like Minecraft mods, this is a channel for you. I show you how to get started with the mod, not showing too much, keeping a surprise into what the mod has to offer, but giving you just enough so you can take it and go have fun with your friends or alone. It's really up to you. So if you guys have any mods you want me to check out, pop them down in the comments below. And if you're a mod creator, pop your mod in the comments below and let's check it out. Anyways, let's not waste too much time. Let's get right into the video. Guys, remember, please give me a like and subscribe. It means so much to me. Much love and let's get in the video. Boom! All right, so today we're looking at a mod called Spartan Shield. As you can see, I've got a shield on me right here um, and another shield there. These are not the normal shields you would see. So let's go into the mod and let's see what this thing has, off has to offer. And let's see who's created this also. So let's give some shout outs. So over here, we can see that it is made by Oblivious Spartan. Um, and today we're just going to look at the basic types of shields it is. So basically what it is, it's just going to give you a couple shields using the ore that is already in vanilla Minecraft. And um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to create them and we're going to get really into it. It's not really much that I can explain too much about what the mod is. It's shields and it's different type of shields. So let's get right into how to create the shields. Let's go. So starting off, I want to show you real quickly. So as you can see, there are a lot of shields that can be created here, as you can see on the side here. But we don't have the items yet, so that's going to be in the next video. I'm going to show you the basics right now. So how to create all these here. So, first things first, you got a crude wooden shield. Alright, that's the first shield you can create. And that's really created by taking some sticks, or taking a stick and then some blocks around it. And uh, you can obviously enchant this thing. You can do these, these are all the enchantments I've seen. So you got cursor blinding, unbreaking, two, two, three, whatever you want to choose. And then mending. You can either have these here. Um, there's obviously other ones you can also do vanishing, so you can put any one that you want on it, uh, payback and all that stuff. So, this is how to create your first one over here. I'll show you how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, let's get a crafting bench just to show you. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of shields we can create here, but I'm not going to show you the like, I'm going to show you basics. So, right here, okay. So, as you can see, we have this main idea as I showed you now, and that's really how it works. So if I go and show you how to create all these, this is the crude wooden shield right here. And then we obviously have this new one, which I showed you also how to make is the wooden tower shield. We're gonna see this whole thing all the way through. Then you're gonna take stone and stone is pretty much the same thing, but using that crude in the middle. And then you're gonna have the stone around the outer edges. And yes, you guessed it. The next one is the same shape I just showed you, but using that there. And that's, we're gonna see the whole way through. So that's a stone brace and the stone tower shield. Then you get the copper same concept always using this one for the for the the brace shield we'll always have this middle one and then if you want to have the tower shield it's just going to have that but have that in the middle and uh, that's going to be copper then we have the iron plated thing same idea and we have the iron tower shield same idea using the iron ingots then we're going to go to the gold gold eh, not i don't really like gold that much um, but if you want to have a gold, it does look nice, I'll be honest. Uh, if you want to do like, you know, cinematics or pictures, it does look really nice. Um, but the power in it is not that good and you'll see that coming up soon. So gold ingots like this. And then you have the tower shield like this exactly. Diamonds right there, giving you the diamond reinforced shield. And you have the tower shield, the diamond tower shield. Then you have the netherite. Uh, I'll get into that now, but uh, basically, yeah, this is it right here. And then you have the obsidian. Now, obsidian is going to be the same concept, but just using obsidian on the outside. And then we have the tower shield for obsidian over here. And the rest we don't have yet because we don't have these ores. They are coming in part two. All right. All right. So now let's look at how to create this right over here, which is called a netherite strengthened shield. So to make it more powerful, we're going to use a smithing table. All right. And in the smithing table, we're going to use a smithing template. If you don't know how to get a smithing template, then all you're going to do is you're going to find one of these smithing templates in, I think they can be found in a shipwreck, you know, in chests and stuff like that. So you can find them in chests. And then if you find them, you have to have diamonds around a netherrack like that, and then you're gonna get your smithing templates to give you two. 
Once you've got that, you can get your diamonds, more diamonds. And uh, then you're going to go and take it to the smithing table. For, take the smithing template right there. Then you're going to use your diamond reinforced shield, which is this one over here. That we have created by doing this. You're going to pop this in to the smithing table. And then a netherite ingot. And you're going to get this one right over here, which is a netherite strengthened shield. All right, let's see the power of everything and what we'd, we choose to be the best. Let's go. All right, so let's look at what we have. So we have here is the wooden crude shield. This is max protection 104. Then you've got the 130. So this is, this is the most weakest one right here. Then you've got the wooden tower shield, which is going to be about 130. Not about, it's exactly 130 for uh, protection. Then max protection, of course, with the stone one is gonna be more, so it's 230. Then we have 287 for the tower shield. Then we're using the copper one, which is 400, which is strange, because I think copper in this game, just in my opinion, uh, not so good. Then it's 400 for this one here, for the copper brace shield. Then you got the copper tower shield, which can be 500. You have the iron plate, which is gonna be 538. The iron tower, which is going to be uh, 672. Then we're using gold to 119, but it's got uh, no max protection. Wow, it's got block. And are you serious? This is shield bash. This is shield. This is shield bash. Also, wow, gold is really not good in this game. It's so strange. But anyways, 192. This one goes up to 240. If you're going to be using gold, guys, uh, use enchantments. This one over here, the diamond one, of course, jumps all the way up. Is that just a, like a spoof on on gold? Because like gold is always like seen as not good in the game. But anyways, diamonds, reinforced shield, 2,560 max protection. Then we have this one. There's a diamond tower shield, which is 3,200. Then we have the netherite one. Of course, it's going to be very, very powerful. It's uh, strange. I want, to see, I want to see if it's actually more powerful than the obsidian. Very, very interesting. Uh, this going to be 3,554. Yes, I am from South Africa and I can read numbers. 69, 800 and 700. Netherite tower shield. That's an inside joke. If you know, you know. Uh, 4,442 for the netherite. And then, oh, see that. So netherite obviously is actually the most powerful. Cool. But then this one over here is going... So this one's got... Uh, just max protection. Then this one over here. Uh, so we get 1,600. But when in main hand, this one for the up bulky obsidian shield is plus 5 knockback resistance, minus, you know, obviously a bit heavier, so 30% speed. But when in the offhand, 5 knockback resistance, minus. Th so it's. W what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference? And then for this one over here, we got 2,000, so 1,600 for this one. But then you get the obsidian tower shield. It's going to be 2,000, but same concept when it comes to these over here. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Well, let me show you how they all look. All right, this is a look at the crude wooden shield. And then we also have a look at the wooden tower shield we have the stone brace shield we have the stone tower then we have the copper brace copper tower shield and then we have the iron plated and then the tower shield for the iron all right so then we have over here is the golden guild shield Ooh. then we have is the golden tower shield we have the diamond reinforced shield. We have the diamond tower shield. We have the netherite strengthened shield. The netherite tower shield. Very cool design. We have a bulky obsidian shield. And we have an obsidian tower shield. Now, let's go and fight some things. I think that's the best way to see how these things work.
Alright, and that's gonna be it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're gonna do some more on this because I feel like there's so much more to this mod. I need to get some more ores for part two. Then you guys can see the different kind of shields. I think it'll be really fun. So, if you guys like this video, see you guys next time. I've got some more mods for you guys. Don't worry. See you soon. Peace, guys.